Oh no, I've done it again. I've started working on a branch. Um, so now my branch that already has an open PR also has changes for my next piece of work. And now I need to figure out again how to take these changes and put them on a new branch without interfering with that PR. It happens to the best of us. And I will show you in this video how you can go about that through a GUI from a GitHub Desktop or how to do it from the terminal. So if this is a scenario that happens to you, keep watching. So we're going to look at like you forgot to switch branches while you made changes and now you're stuck in this weird state where all your changes are on the wrong branch and um, we want to switch those to a new branch without doing um, too much crazy things. So here I have a very simple repository which is called the wrong branch sample so that gives it away a little bit. Um, and I'm currently on the current branch, which is the main. And if we look at this one on uh, GitHub, then uh, you will see that this is just the readme file. So nothing strange is going on here and the git attributes. Okay, very cool. Um, the readme is like completely empty. So let's see if we can um, fix that. I'm going to go back to the GitHub desktop client. That is what you're seeing here. And I'm going to open this repository with Visual Studio Code, uh, which is a very lightweight editor. Pretty cool. Um, it shows me the release notes. Well, thank you. And um, so here we go, opening up the readme and I'm going to make some changes. Um, day by day, uh, we need to implement this one. So just a very arbitrary change. Um, and if we go back to our GitHub desktop client, you can see this change is popping up. We're on the main branch, so that's fine. Um, so what I already want to do is like, you know, you could have created a new branch right now uh, before making this change, but it basically this already gives away how to go about whenever you make changes on the wrong branch. So I started on creating on the main branch, right? So uh, this is I typically you can't commit to the main branch or that's not what you want, especially if you're working on a team. Um, so I'm going to just uh, create a new branch here. I'm going to start typing start. Uh, read me and I'm going to click the new branch button here or the same one you can do here and uh, it will automatically suggest to me like hey this is the name you typed so that's probably what you want to do and your new branch will be based on your currently checked out branch main so because main is the default branch it will do just that um, so it will create the branch and what it will ask me next is like hey do you want to leave these changes on main so maybe you're working on the main branch or probably some other branch uh, but you've got pulled out of it because there is a critical issue that you need to fix first and you're going to switch to another branch and you just want to leave your changes here on this branch uh, to revisit later. But the scenario that we're after is to bring my changes to this new branch, the start readme branch. So it will take the changes that I've made and it will put them on the new branch and the old branch will just leave all the well it will, won't actually have any changes whenever we do this um, so if i do switch branch here then you can see i have my changes here so actually let's just uh, commit these and push these to github as well and whenever I do that and I switch back to the main branch, you can see that the changes are gone here. So it literally took these changes and put them on my new branch. So if I go back to my new branch again and I'm going to open a pull request, you can do that from the menu right here or just press Control R. Um, it's going to not find this repository. So that is interesting. Um, well, it is here anyway. Uh, so you can see it, it uh, picked up the um, new branch and it uh, suggests me to open a pull request. So let's do that, just that. That's typically how you would do this. Um, and we're going to say, okay, update readme. I'm just going to open this pull request. So uh, there we go. Our work is done for this piece of work. And now we're going to go on to our next piece of work. Uh, but you know, you are so in the zone coding it, you having the best day, the most productive day, and you forget to switch the branch, right? So you've made this change and you're going to just um, continue working from this start readme branch. Um, so let's open it in Visual Studio Code again. And uh, we need to implement this. Okay, so let's implement this is something in this readme. Uh, welcome. And please check out our contributing guideline. There we go. 
uh, let's add a link to that so that we also add a um, new file. So this is going to be the contributing MD. There we go. Um, let's create a new file here that is called this and how to contribute uh, to be done. There we go. So save this, save this. Now we've made a change for a new piece of work. Uh, so that gets us in trouble, right? Because we were still on the start readme branch. And whenever we push to this branch, it will update our PR. And that's not what we want. We want to have these changes on a new branch. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the terminal in a little bit. But if you're using um, GitHub desktop, uh, I, I choose to do a hybrid form basically uh, between the terminal and GitHub desktop as well. Um, but you can do it from here very easily. So let's just click this um, uh, branch window here again. And I'm going to start a new uh, branch again. So I'm just going to say, well, you can click new branch right from here and you can uh, do the name here. So uh, just to show you the difference. Um, and I'm going to say implement readme here. And here again, you can choose the like, hey, do you want to create this branch off of the main branch? So that is basically like the branch that holds all your um, latest stable changes, right? So that's typically what you want to do. Um, or do you want to create a branch from this start readme? So this will already have the, um, uh, the readme um, changes that we made earlier. So this is going to be a bit of a problem because the start readme hasn't been merged into main yet. Uh, so the changes are going to be different. Um, but you know, for now, I'm just going to stick with I'm going to want to create this branch based off the uh, main branch. And um, then you get to choose like, hey, do you want to leave your changes on the start readme branch? So that's the branch that we we're on. But the thing that we want to do, uh, which we saw earlier as well, is to bring these changes to my implement readme branch. So this will take again the changes from this branch and take it into the new branch. So the start readme branch will just stay the way it is. Um, it will uh, not affect the PR until it's merged. And you can just start working on these new changes in this new branch. So we're going to um, switch this new branch and we suddenly have a new branch with all of our changes. Um, like I said, because I based it off the main um, main branch instead of the um, the start readme branch. Uh, this is now giving a little conflict because the readme file, uh, yeah, was empty in our main branch while, um, yeah, here it, it had some content already. So uh, we need to fix this conflict, which is also very easily done in Visual Studio Code. So let's just do that. I'm going to accept the current change. Oh, no, that's not what I want. So Control Z that. I'm going to uh, accept the incoming change. There we go. And save that. And if we go back to uh, GitHub, now all is resolved. And we should be able to implement readme, commit this. Um, and we should again publish this branch if we want to have that on our remote repository as well. Um, so now I have successfully taken my changes uh, from the wrong branch to a new branch based off main. So do not forget that the main that I base it off is the remote main. So that's not going to be the local main where you have like maybe other changes or who is maybe um, not entirely updated with the latest remote ones. It will um, base it on the remote main with the latest changes that are on there. So now to just quickly show you how to do this from the uh, terminal, basically, I'm just going to create a couple of um, more changes here. So let's also implement the contributing MD, um, just make a PR. Well, there we go. It's easy as that. <laughs> um, so let's just see from the GitHub desktop client, you can also spawn a terminal window. Of course, typically you would probably open a terminal window yourself and navigate to the right folder, uh, but this works too. So open in command prompt, here it is. Let me zoom that in for you a little bit. How do we actually do that? That's a good question. Um... <laughs> There we go, so zoomed it in. And from here we can uh, say, okay, um, git stash, which will put it in some kind of general stash. So it will just save only the changes um, and it will it will be gone from like 
um, uh, the the changes here. So you can see it; it's it's gone. It's saved to a uh, a stash. And uh, now we can just go to a different branch. So uh, we can go back, for example, to uh, Git checkout. Uh, what was it? Start README, I think. There we go. So we switch to this branch. So maybe these changes needed to go into the start readme branch, or you can just create a new branch um, with uh, the uh, minus B uh, option. And uh, whenever we do that, you can see the branch changed here as well. And we can now simply say um, git stash apply, which will take the last uh, thing in our stash and apply that to our current branch. So whenever we do that, um, in this case, there's going to be a conflict, uh, which was to be expected because, you know, um, here we have some uh, weird things going on, but it, it took our changes and applied them to this branch right here. So, um, uh, you know, this way you can easily transport your changes from one branch to another. And um, if we would now get stash these again, Oh, we need to merge this first. Okay, so let's um, discard these changes. There we go. And let's go back to our terminal window here. And um, we can also do it differently. So whenever I make another change in this start readme one, just to have a change. So let's open this here again. Um, we only have this one. Um, we forgot to add a little dot here. I don't know, something very arbitrary. And uh, we go back to our terminal window right here. Uh, there's also like, you can do this in one um, command probably. You can also do this in one command, basically. You can just say git um, checkout minus B new branch. Uh, there we go. And it switched to this new branch and it took the modified readme file as a change to this new branch as well. So that's another way uh, that you can just switch over to a new branch. Um, um, it's based off the um, start readme one. So you need a different command to uh, actually base it off like the, the main branch, but this will just take it uh, as a base of the, the branch that you were working on, but uh, take the changes to a new branch from that. So this will give you some clues and pointers on how to do this. Of course, Git has endless possibilities. So uh, there might be something different uh, specific to your scenario, but this should tell you the basics on how to take your changes uh, to a different Git branch. I know this is a lot of info to take in. I jumped around through a couple of branches, through a couple of windows. So feel free to watch it again. There's no shame in that. And it's absolutely free. So you can do it again and again. Um, let me know in the comments if there are any other Git scenarios that you want to see that I need to walk you through. Um, I will also in this video comment add a nice link uh, which has a no nonsense. Um, there might be a couple of naughty words in there, so be aware, uh, but no nonsense guides on I have this scenario, how do I get out of it um, for all your Git needs. So be sure to check that out. If you want to see more videos, please like this one, subscribe to my channel uh, to be notified whenever a new video comes up and I'll hope to see you for my next one.